After eight months of hoping that he was still alive, but hearing nothing about his condition or whereabouts, Andrei Kozlov's parents simply couldn't believe it when they got the call to say he'd been rescued and was on a helicopter out of Gaza. When I heard, are you sitting down, I thought it was bad news. I dropped the phone to one side. It fell under the table, and suddenly I heard from under the table, it's good news, it's good news. And I crawled under the table, did you say good news? Yes, they're bringing Andrei over by helicopter. He's almost in Israel. It was very emotional. It's difficult to describe. Evgenia and Mikhail flew straight from St. Petersburg in Russia for an emotional reunion with Andrei at a hospital in Israel. It appeared to be the moment his ordeal finally caught up with him. During the eight months we've been waiting for him, we feared he would be changed a lot, that he would be a different man. And suddenly there was this emotional shock. Mama, Mama, I knew I'd return. Mama, I knew on October 7th that I would go home. When he calmed down and was able to speak calmly, I knew he was the same man. Andre was rescued with two Israeli men, Al Mogmer Jan and Shlomi Ziv, in an Israeli military operation in central Gaza on Saturday morning. What has he told you about the last eight months? One of the phrases that really scared or hurt us was when he said, there are some things I will never tell you about. As for everything else, yes, he tells us. But it's as if he's playing storyteller, as if to entertain us. Even the fact that his hands and feet were tied for two months, he tells it as if it were a joke. Hamas claims that at least 270 Gazans were killed and hundreds wounded in the rescue operation. Video from the scene shows many dead in the densely populated Nuzorat market. Hamas now says it wants written guarantees from the US before agreeing a ceasefire deal. But the US Secretary of State in Qatar today said some of Hamas's demands aren't possible. Hamas has proposed numerous changes to the proposal that was on the table. Some of the changes are workable, some are not. Here, in a nutshell, is where we stand. For all the hostages who have returned home, like Andre, 120 still remain in Gaza, many of them dead. Negotiations for their release continue, but hopes for a ceasefire are, again, fading. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News in Tel Aviv.